Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today to do a quick video introducing the wonderful world of Carve razors here at the Emporium. We're really excited to bring on the Carve line. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if it's Carve, Carve. I think it's Carve. There's an E at the end. But regardless, uh, I actually had an opportunity to meet Chris. Uh, he came out here for Big Shave Southwest this year and we had a ph phenomenal time together. He came and toured the Emporium, and we hung out a couple times uh, in the following evenings for cigars and drinks and stuff. Wonderful guy, we got along like peas and carrots. Uh, we were both swapping you know, shop talk about uh, machining and finishing and stuff, and uh, I was really excited when I was able to buy a razor from him there at the Big Shave, and he actually bought one of our razors to the Ambassador. And uh, I took it home and I really liked it. And that's kind of always one of my qualifications, guys, for what I bring on to the Razor Emporium. I try to have it be things that I like and um, things that I believe in and I can really uh, wholeheartedly you know, sit here on camera or sit there in the, in the lobby with our customers and, and testify of, of its quality and its uh, performance. And the Carve Christopher Bradley Razor, as it's called, is certainly one of those things. Now, uh, it has originally been released in a satin brass finish. So this is solid brass. It's milled in Canada at his own shop. He is uh, a unique uh, artisan in the machining world uh, that he actually owns the means of his production. Most of the rest of us who machine razors end up contracting to a machine shop to do that. Uh, but his background is machining. And so he was able to actually produce these in-house. And that's one reason they are such a great price. And the performance is also amazing. So there's two main formats for these razors. There is the open comb and a solid bar. And so they're going to provide just a kind of a different feel for the shave. And then the other main aspect is going to be the blade gap. And so he has a letter alphabet A through I think F or G in terms of how much gap is going to be there for the blade. We just picked up the most popular for right now, which is B, C, and D. That could change. So um, depending on when you watch this video, uh, we may end up having more of the blade gaps available. We're, we're, this is our first order with them, so we're just kind of seeing what's selling, and they're actually doing great. Um, and there's also different handle lengths. There's uh, a little bit more of a bulldog style like this, and there's a longer handle. I think it's a three and a three and a half inch. So I, this is my personal razor that I bought there at the show. I, I like more of a bulldog handle, and so that's what I got. And I think I got the C plate? Yeah, C, like Charlie. So that's what I got. And I really liked it. Um, I may move up to a D plate eventually. We'll see. Because this was kind of on the mild to medium side, which is fine for me. I like that. Now, there's another two options here, as you're seeing. There's a stainless steel. So this is a brand new release. As of the shooting of this video, a new release is the, is the stainless steel. And we do have them. So get them while they last, guys. Uh, this is, I believe, 303 machined steel. And uh, again, the same plates. So a great, a great design to them. Um, really like that. And then there's something exclusive to our store which we're really excited to offer and that is this uh, plated version. So obviously we work on a lot of brass here at Razor Emporium with all of our background with Gillette razors and revamping those and they're all made of brass. So all of our polishing and finishing and plating equipment is all revolve around plating of, of brass and stainless steel. Um, and so when I got this from him you know, the, the original satin finish looks great and it, it holds up pretty well. If you want to polish it at home, I think you could use like some Brasso uh, metal polish and keep this nice and clean looking like this. But I happen to have let it sit in my bathroom for uh, a little bit of time and it started to tarnish. And that's what happens, guys, with unplated razors. Uh, they're beautiful, but they will patina. And some people really like that. That's great. I like a polished item. So I brought it to the shop. I started polishing it up here, just kind of like on my own time. Okay, I'll see what it looks like. And then I ended up giving it a nice mirror finish like this. And I was like, man, that looks really cool. Let's just go ahead and run it through the plating line. Let's put some rhodium on that. And we did, and I was just blown away by the results. So beautiful. And if you look at the inside here, um, such a nice finish. And it's, and it's no wonder. I mean, we start with a great product and we just enhance it with a little bit of polishing and some plating and we end up just getting a really great result. And this is going to be an exclusive finishing option for our razors that are bought through our store. You also can send one in if you want. It's actually a little bit cheaper to buy it from us already plated though. And uh, that's going to be, 
you know, rhodium, 24 karat gold. You can do silver, rose gold. You can do just nickel, whatever you want. But you can order it from us just ahead of time. So you don't have to worry about mailing to us and waiting for it to come back. Just you'll place the order and we'll actually do it uh, just in a couple days before it ships out. So that's been really exciting for us to have here is the plated options for these Carve razors. So that's Carve in a nutshell. Really excited about what they put out. Uh, I think they are unanimously loved on the chat rooms and Reddit and the forums and Facebook and wherever else people really seem to like the razor. I think he was heavily inspired uh, in, in good fashion and good right by Gillette with the Tech Razor and I think with um, with this guy, the Gillette New. Uh, it's a very a butter smooth shave. It's very easy to find the blade angle and I think it's a, a high quality product made in Canada, our neighbors to the north. So we're happy about that too. Thanks so much guys for checking out the video. Check out the razor line. If you have a Carve razor, am I, first, am I pronouncing it right? And second, if you do, what are your thoughts? Which base plate do you like the most? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you think about the rhodium finishing or 24 karat gold? Let me know about that too. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it with all of your friends, click that bell to notify you every time we come out with a new video, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.